Uh, so if you are an e-commerce store, I think this video will be uh, rather interesting to you, right? I think it's worth, definitely worth your time to watch it through. Anyways, like if you run an e-commerce store, you might already have a blog section on your site or you might have thought about adding a blog section to your site. Just to potentially post sales through writing some uh, useful articles. Uh, but, be but before you do that, or maybe you have already done that, uh, I just wanted to show you something. So let's say that you are this company here, Burman Coffee Traders, and you're selling coffee beans, which is an example I like to bring. And yeah, like look at this blog article here. Understanding the difference between coffee and espresso. Yeah, they sell teas and coffee and some accessories here. And this is a, an article in the vlog section. Yeah, what is the history of coffee? Did I or the good images, they have linked to their articles. Yeah, it's it's an extensive article going into detail about the topic difference between coffee and espresso. So anyways, like seems to be rather well done the images and stuff in the actually the actual article is quite well written. Then let me show you something interesting. Like if I look at how like this is the article here. And if you look at how much traffic the difference between coffee and espresso, how much traffic they're getting every month? Zero. It's effectively zero. Zero visitors every month. And then just on one article, these guys, like they have, uh, they've done 29 articles that Google has picked up. Maybe they've done more, but like roughly 20, 29 articles. Like if you consider like how much time does it take to grace like, such an article, like the coming up to the idea, then having someone write it, or maybe you're writing it for yourself, having the images, having the links, uploading the article. Like let's just summarize and say that like, let's say it's like four hours in total, although most time I write articles. These take like five to 10 hours, but let's say four hours. And let's say that your time is worth $50 an hour. I think, I, I hope this is a, I'm being conservative here, but let's say $50 an hour. So that means one article, to create one article that costs $200. So four, four times $50 is $200. But these guys, they, they have created 29 articles. So that's around 30 articles. And at, at $200, I just spent around $6,000 to write these 29 articles. And basically, except for this one, like the first article, this is getting like a good amount of traffic, like almost 800 visitors every month. The, the other 80, 28 articles are basically doing nothing for them. This is super common. Like I see this all the time. Like most e-commerce stores have blog sections because they know that it's useful to have blog sections. Why? The reason is that with a blog section, you can boost the rankings of your product pages because in blog articles, you can internally link to your, like, let's say you're selling coffee beans, you could link to your, like, uh, so coffee beans the cap of beans and different kinds of products. And doing so, like if people land on those blog articles, they will likely click to those uh, products and buy those products. And also having those links in, inside your own website, this also raises your overall rankings on Google for your product pages. So your product pages are higher as well. And, and, and yeah, it just, it just like boosts sales if done correctly, but like most businesses do not do this correctly. And, and what I mean with this is that they just create blog articles randomly. It's just, Try to come up with some random ideas that they think their customers would find useful and they're doing a great job at coming up with these ideas. But the problem is that for most of these ideas, there's no search demand. No one is searching for these kinds of keywords. So once you publish the article, once they publish these articles, they share this in the social media or do they are new to the subscribers. And yeah, some people might read it, but like once that's done, almost no one's going to read them afterwards. Like, Two months later, one month later, these articles are getting no traffic at all. And this is super visible here. And this is just one site, one example. And there's another one, like this one here, uh, Restaurant Coffee. Again, like they've done 95 articles, but that's around $20,000 invested into content. And only the first three here are getting any traffic at all. And all the others, like basically zero traffic. So again, like a lot of money wasted here. Another example dailyricecoffee.com. They've done 17 articles and they are the best ones getting seven visitors every month, but all the others, zero. Basically all the others are zero. Another example, coffeecult.com. They have done 118 articles. So the first five, like the first one is getting 200. That's decent. Then 34, 29, 19, 19, yeah, still like 115 of those articles are doing nothing for them. So again, like uh, you see here, let's see. Five awesome coffee shop designs. Yeah, zero graphic. That's unfortunate. And another last example. Bear with me here. 15 pages for mostrocoffee.com. 15 blog articles. And yeah, the top two are getting uh, one visitor every month. But yeah, that's... The others are getting any speak at all. So you don't want to do that. 
And here's also a good example. Like here's another coffee uh, shop, or another coffee business selling coffee beans, beanbox.com. They're selling uh, subscriptions uh, effectively. And yeah, you see, they have done 90 blog articles and the top ones are, this isn't even, even a perfect example. But yeah, they're getting a ton of traffic. Like this is monthly traffic to this one blog article, how to make an Americano. They're ranking number one for this keyword and we're getting a ton of traffic here, like 5,500 visitors every month. So that, I, I underestimate these articles are uh, bringing in a good amount of sales for them as well. And uh, yeah, like I just opened up, let's just open up one article of theirs. Inbox, how to use a chemical coffee maker in nine steps. And here, like they have this article here and they're linking to their different product pages and uh, yeah, different, different pages that make money for them with the coffee gift page. And also they, on the right here, they have different texture with different coffees of theirs that they're selling. So this blog article is generating traffic consistently month after month and it's generating sales for them. So they're doing a great job at content marketing. And what's the main difference between the losers or the people that like by losers, I mean, who are, I mean, no disrespect. I mean, like once they're using on their content marketing efforts, on their blogging efforts and the winners. And the main difference is, uh, like I'm linked this video down below. This is another video on our channel. It's over 20 minutes go over the entire content marketing strategy. But the main idea is that, uh, the winners, they do a keyword research. They find out what are the topics that their target users, target market are, are actually searching for. One of the keywords, and then they tailor, they write articles, cater to those keywords, to target those keywords, and the, like, which you want to rank at the top, which is where you want to rank if you want to get traffic. They find out like, what are one of the questions people are asking, like how to make an Americano, and, and then they write an article, an extensive article, a lengthy article, at least a couple thousand words to answer the question. Then they promote their own products within the article, which is fine to do. And, and yeah, they use tools like, like we use Surfer SEO, which is an SEO tool to, to optimize the article, to make sure that you cover all the angles that Google wants to see you covering to rank for that, that keyword. That's the gist of it, but I will link this video down below, like if you're interested in the whole process, but yeah, that's, the, we, we do it for all of our clients. Like if we do content marketing for them, for most of our e-commerce clients, we do content marketing as well, because it's a really good strategy. It's like a low hanging fruit strategy. And here's just a few examples. Like here's an example of a client. And this is like a blocked out for the, because we have an NDA with uh, most of our clients, non-disclosure agreements. I can't share the exact keywords, but in, in the black here, uh, we, we have the keyword that we're targeting. The URL here is for the uh, specific page that we have created for the client. Here's the type of the page we've created, like this or article. And these are the clicks, like, so this is from Google Search Console. So this and how much traffic they're getting every month to these articles. So as you see, not all our whole runs, like many, like some articles just won't perform as well, because like they need to us to build backlinks if the client hasn't wanted to invest into building backlinks. So you don't always just try by writing an article or you, you need to invest uh, into getting the article ranked, but, but like, yeah, still sometimes you don't basically to invest that much at all, or, or you don't need to do any backlinks at all. And you're going to write, like you see here, this article. He's generating almost 3000 visitors every month. That client, this one, 1500 visitors, 880. So that's a lot of traffic and the ROI or the return on investment from this, from writing two articles for the client is, uh, is massive. Here's another example. And this is a newer client of ours. And this is more site. They have a low budget. They only want a handful of articles, but you see here, even with them, like when we started. Initially, we did some optimizations as well to their category pages to get, but they had like almost no traffic at all to their category pages. And it's also, also bear in mind, it's a newer store. Their domain is uh, rather new and it's, it's not as powerful, but, but yeah, like you see from zero or almost new still managed to go grow their monthly visitors to quite a significant amount. Some of these are blog articles, some are just also to visit the category pages. And there's also what I wanted to point out is like, um, I recommend like, if you want to do this by yourself, then check out the video that I'm linking below. This is how to do it by yourself. But if you want our help, like I, I'm just recently, just today, I've added like a mini service because usually we do this uh, for, uh, including in our full service package, but that's, that's the start from my like 2000 a month. Most, most e-commerce stores are just hang out to you. We can't, many of you can't afford the 2k a month. So what I'm offering is, uh, or what I just uploaded is like a main service here on our, on our page. And we'll also link this down below. This will be the second link. So this is, we write one blog article for you 
And uh, yeah, you can, you can either, you can either just give us a topic idea if you have one already, or what I would recommend is that we come up with a, like, if you want to give us a blog article idea, we will do the research for you. Like you just send us your, uh, URL of your website and we will generate three article ideas. We will email those to you. Once you confirm one of those, we will write a 1500 word article or a 1500 word article and uh, include all of this that like you could read more of if you go to come to the site that I want to bore you with this right now. And also I'm making the same video here below as well, well of the overall content marketing strategy. But yeah, you can get it for $95, just uh, one, this is a discounted offer, if you are interested, just to see how we work and how, how, how this is done so that potentially you could order more if you want in the future by engaging with us for, with our full service offering, or you could do this by yourself as when, when, when you have the time and uh, yeah, if you just want to see how we do it and learn from the, the process, the system. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to make sure that if you are doing content marketing, if you're doing blogging, do not do it just for the sake of doing it. You're just going to throw away money. I don't want you to doing that. Yeah. What, what I would just say is just doing a purposeful, meaningful content marketing that has high odds of bringing an ROI for it. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and you can just leave a comment down below with any of your questions. I will get back to all of the questions. So yeah, thank you. Have an amazing day.